Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm with Jack and it's another episode of Six O'Clock Spurs. How are you, Jack? Very well, how are you? Very well, but it's been a bit of a slow news day, but here's our first news story. Graham Roberts, ex-Spurs legend from the 80s, has said that he's spoken to some of the Spurs squad and that they've waxed lyrical about Maurizio Pochettino. They say they're really fond of him and they believe in him. Now, what do you think of that story, Jack? Uh, I agree. I'm really excited about uh, this season. Obviously, he came in last season. He's doing a great job. Uh, the, he's brought the load of the youth through. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm confident in, in what he can do and they seem to be buying into his philosophy, so I'm all for it. What I like about it is it's so often that you hear those stories from uh, inside football clubs where it's like, oh, they don't like the manager, they don't like this, they don't like that. It's very rare that you get one where it comes out they actually like their own manager. So that's very positive for Spurs and very rare and I like it. So here's the next story, okay? Toby Alderweireld has increased his Belgian love in not just to Jan Vertonghen, but now has come out in the press saying how much he loves and how good Moussa Dembele is as well. I've got a quote here as well, just a short one. He says that Moussa Dembele is one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. That's been said before as well by other people. I, I agree, you know, I mean, I've been probably a bit critical of him in the past because he's not really been that positive a player in terms of attacking, but in the game against, uh, in the last game that he played. Against Liverpool, he against was Liverpool, especially was good, wasn't he? Was really good. He was very good. And uh, I kind of think we've got a lot of Belgian players now. Let's buy some more. Let's get Axel Witzel in. Let's, uh, we can't get Benteke. He's he won't striker come, uh, we're interested in as well. What's his name? Well, there's Torgan Hazard we're interested in. And Torgan Hazard. Uh, I can't remember what the striker's name is. But, you know, we might as well just make it the whole Belgian national team. Why not? They're like top of the world rankings, aren't they? Best centre-back partnership in the world, technically. That's absolutely true, even though they play left back and right back for Belgium, but we'll forget about that. And uh, the other news story today is that the Evening Standard have said that Manchester United are planning an audacious, record-breaking move for our number 10, Harry Kane. It's bullshit, isn't it? Stinks. Absolutely reeks of BS. What kind of money, it could be me, but what kind of money do you think it would actually take for Levy to say, here, have our talisman, have uh, the player on the front of all the press that we use at Tottenham Hotspur, have our record goal scorer, have him. How much money would that take? Well, uh, he's priceless. To me, he's priceless. I don't to keep, Levy? I, 100 million. Do you think he'd 150 accept 100? Million. 150 million. You heard oh. it here first <laughs> from Jack Bryden. If United, if the Glazers come in with 150 million notes, then Levy will be interested and he'll, uh, he'll fly him up to Manchester on that private jet of his. Is that what you said? I don't want him to go, so 200 million, 300 million. Guys, you, you let us know in the comment section below how much money it would take if you were the chairman to sell Harry Kane to Manchester United. The reality is for me, Levy doesn't sell to English clubs anymore. Not the big players, not more. It didn't happen with Modric, it didn't happen with Bale, it won't happen with Kane. Well, since the Berbatov saga as well, it's the just bar. sort of gone. <laughs> Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about today's news in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. And Jack, only one more thing left to say. Come on, you Spurs. Go, you Spurs. 15 minutes gone. We're playing our way back into this game now, thank God. Terrible start. Come on, Spurs.